Welcome back to this already the final segment of today's Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. We've got the one and only Chris Kidd here in the studio. You know, you've been doing some awesome interviews on your own lately. I felt very left out, and so I'm glad I finally got back here in the studio with you to be able to do some with you. But uh, you always do some great stories. Tell the audience, just remind them about your own story, about what you do and how you help others. And, and for those interested, they can always check uh, Chris out over at chriskidd.com. Well, I'm a financial coach. Um, I grew up as a coach's son and uh, always been around sports and I've uh, been an athlete all my life and everything. So uh, I've been really attracted to the, the sports area of stuff. So I, I've ended up... You know, with a, a lot of uh, sports-related clients and stuff, and, uh, you know, either athletes or people who had played sports at one time, because I really relate well uh, with that and uh, do a, a lot of teaching with uh, sports analogies and stuff when it comes to investing and managing personal finances and stuff. And uh, just really try to have people get a, a better handle on their finances and uh, a better quality of life, so... Uh, like you said, people can find out a lot more about that uh, in detail at chriskid.com. Yes, which looks like that site's had some pretty impressive updates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people need <laughs> to you. check that out. Chriskid.com. Tell us about, about the guest. And it's a very timely topic, uh, something that uh, has really been one of the big issues in sports now for a few years and still continues to dominate. Yeah, well, my, my guest today is uh, Steve Cole, and he's uh, the uh, assistant... Uh, I'm gonna have to get have him give us the title again, but uh, with he's with uh, William and Mary, and uh, he's you know a, an expert in the area of you know dealing with concussions and stuff, and it's like you said it's been one of these big issues that's been coming up for several years, um, you know, and there's the big NFL lawsuit and stuff going on as well now, uh, so I thought he'd be a, a good guy to come on and uh, fill us in a little bit about some of the uh, the concussion issues. Good to have you on, Steve. Thank you, Chris. Kevin, glad to join you today. Yeah, I, I understand you're relatively new to William & Mary. You've only been here three-plus decades. Correct. That's one of those <laughs> came and stayed. Well, we're glad you did, and we're glad you're going to talk to us today. Talk a little bit about your background, your experience when it comes to this issue of concussions. And give us that title again, because I, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> That's all right. I'm the, uh, in my current role, I'm the Associate Athletic Director for Internal Operations at the College of William & Mary. Very good. I am a certified athletic trainer and have been uh, a practicing health care provider for over 40 years. And in the Commonwealth of Virginia, athletic trainers are also licensed under the Board of Medicine at the highest level, such as physicians, physical therapists, and other allied health professionals. Mm -hmm. um, so for the past eight years, I, have, uh, I moved upstairs in um, uh, a more administrative role, but still involved on a national basis in um, phys particularly physician and athletic training education, um, travel around the country teaching primary care physicians for a large part uh, on the field management of injuries, which concussion sideline assessment is a big part of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a substantial background. Chris? Yeah, I guess talk a little bit about that because that's been – um, you know, obviously concussions have been around for a really long time, and uh, I, it's been quite a few years since I've played, but uh, I know I've had like four concussions in my life, at, at least that I know of. Um, two of them were in football. Uh, talk a little bit about how people have uh, started learning more about that and even the, the whole situation, like with the NFL deal, um, a lot of that was kind of skirted under, uh, under the, the carpet or whatever, and um, what what are uh, some of the details there as far as like what people uh, even, either may have known or um, are now finding out about concussions? Well, I think that one of the significant topics for us to, to focus on when we talk about the NFL settlement, and there's also a proposed settlement out there with the NCAA. These are these are dealing with past situations. These are dealing with um, how uh, the concussions were not managed in the most appropriate manner. Not saying that in, in all cases people were, were outright negligent in how they managed them, um, but uh, uh, medicine is an art and a science which continues to evolve. Uh, 
from my own personal experience. It used to be we had over 20 grading systems for concussions, and the significant difference between them was it said, if a person's knocked out, it's a grade three. If their symptoms clear within 15 or 20 minutes, it's a grade one, and you put them back in the game. And we all did that. In hindsight, we look at that and realize that was not the most appropriate management uh, of a concussion. Um, you know, Chris, if you reflect on your experience as an athlete, um, the, the athletic mentality is, is I've, you know, I've got to get back in there. I've got to be competitive. And one of the things we're working to, to, to change now in the mindset, and, it, and it, it's really a quote I took from some of your material when you're talking about financial planning, you've got to spend a dollar. What's the impact of that dollar going to have on the rest of your life? It's the same thing dealing with athletes. What's the significance of you getting back into this game today? What's the impact going to be on the rest of your life? And we've got to get people thinking that way about that. Right, and this this isn't really concussion related, but bringing that that point up, um, when Stephen Curry hurt his knee, uh, I guess it's been about a month ago now, but um, you know he didn't play for a couple weeks, and and I I actually said you know if I was Steve Kerr, I'd probably sit him the rest of the series, uh, especially when they were you know up you know pretty good against the Rockets, and then you know they if he's wasn't absolutely needed, I mean is if you come back too too quick. Um, you can do some serious damage, especially you know when you're dealing with a head injury. Uh, talk a little bit about your uh, your smart um, uh, your your smart workshop that you've developed. What well, is the smart workshop? It stands for uh, it's sideline management assessment response techniques, and it's what we call a between the lines course for physicians. Um, it's not a course designed to replace the uh, very high level courses out there to teach physicians all of the topics about being a team physician. This is really, if you're a physician, you're going to be covering an athletic event. What are the things, a skill set you need to deal with those things on the sidelines, between the lines, as we call it? Um, we, we attract um, a lot of what we call parent physicians, the physician now whose son or daughter is, is, is starting to play high school sports. They're there. Somebody gets hurt. People turn around and go, get Dr. Kidd. He's a doctor. But do you have the skill set to deal with this? And so um, this is what we're providing and, and been taking that message now around the country for, you know, about 15 years now. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit. I'm sure you've seen the movie, right? The movie Concussion? Yep. Uh, what, what was your thoughts about that and the treatment of it? And you know, to me, it was done in a rather indicting sort of way. Uh, what was your thoughts? What did you feel about it? Well, I think you know the uh, well put the indicting sort of way. First of all, it took a lot of courage to to bring that issue forward. And you know, the problem when you get into CTE is is it's a it's it, you don't diagnose that until. You, Till we have your brain after you've died and we do an autopsy on it. There's a lot of correlation that can be drawn between, um, you know, shots to the head and the eventual uh, development of CTE and dementia and, and those sort of things. Uh, the thing that I, 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 uh, I liked about the movie was the fact that it's, it's continued to keep the discussion alive in the public and kind of at a different um, uh, level, kind of at that medical level, kind of that, you know, it's important that we're, we're thinking about these long-term effects um, that people can suffer. Yeah, very good. Well, what are uh, some things, I mean, how else, there, there was something I saw that you had uh, had a video on YouTube, and we're talking about how... Um, concussions can even kind of carry over into the classroom and schoolwork and stuff, especially when you're dealing with somebody like at the college level. Uh, talk a little bit about that and what, you know, people need to know in that area. Well, one of the, the concepts I, that, that we press is, is, if you want to say more eyes on the matter, um, the more people you get involved with the patient with a suspected concussion, I think the better your outcomes can be, and especially your management plan. You know, return to athletic participation and returning to academic participation are two separate issues. 
an athlete, a, a, an individual can return to physical activity generally sooner than they can to full functioning in an academic setting. And so it's important that, you know, the more eyes we have on it, your certified athletic trainers that are working every day with, with these young men and women, you know, the coaches, teammates, parents. As a parent, a lot of times you, you know when your child's getting sick before they, always, before they actually get sick. You see a change in their affect. Um, and then teachers. Our faculty here at the College of William & Mary are, are critical uh, partners, especially when you get into the emphasis that we put on writing skills here and critical thinking skills. And what we tell our faculty is, is if we notify them this person has suffered a suspected concussion, now, if you see a significant drop-off in, you know, they've written an essay and you go, what is this? This isn't their normal work. It's critical that you, you notify us and the Office of Accommodation so that we can intervene in those things. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, the school administrators and, are, are very important in this in working with, with teachers because those academic accommodations will – will in most cases extend for a much longer period of time than when a person has resumed physical activity. Yeah. Steve Coe's been our guest. He's Associate, Associate Athletics Director at, of Internal Affairs at the uh, College of William & Mary. The website is tribeathletics.com. Did you have another website you wanted to refer to, Steve? No, that's good. That's good. And uh, Chris Kidd, of course, chriskidd.com. We've got a, about a minute or so left. Why don't you wrap it up for us? Well, thanks for joining us, Steve. That was a uh, fantastic uh, interview. And, man, I <laughs> I feel like we could probably talk for another hour with questions and stuff on this. Yeah, I got a feeling we'll be having you back on. Well, Kevin, Chris, I appreciate the opportunity, and especially keeping the topic and the discussion out there. The more people we get talking about it, and realizing that, you know, concussion's an athletic term for a traumatic brain injury. And if we start referring to it that way, I think we're going to get even more emphasis on the topic. Yeah, I agree with that. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank All you. All right. Appreciate so, the uh, when we get back tomorrow, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you the show continues 24 7 at priceofbusiness.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Have a great day. Spend it here on this station.